So let's go ahead and go over to my computer. I'm gonna launch Photoshop and start creating a file and I'm gonna show you how exactly to do it little by little, step by step, one by one, in your face. What up, Tech Indie Gamers? It's your boy, Jermaine. Welcome back to Tech Toys and Gaming. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a custom made webcam shape for your gaming and your streaming over OBS. So I know a lot of people actually have covered this in the past. You look it up on YouTube. This is not a new subject. However, I will show you a fast, quick and easy and dirty way to help you create those custom made webcam shapes. Cause you know, at the end of the day, we just get bored of having our same old square rectangles. And if you want to stand out with something cool, crisp, clean and modern and you maybe you want to have rounded off edges maybe you want to have like a star shape maybe you want to have like an explosion shape i don't know how to do that but uh you can just create whatever shape you want and it's probably easier than you probably think so stick around and i'll show you exactly how to easily make yourself a custom webcam shape in this video, I'm gonna use Photoshop, but feel free to use your own imaging processing application. Basically across the board, any of the application softwares you use, you can basically replicate what I'm gonna do here. That's how simple and straightforward it is. So sit back, relax, and let's go to my computer and let's take a look at how we're gonna actually set this up. All right, so here we are in Photoshop with a clean slate. So it doesn't have to be Photoshop, can be GIMP, can be any other, uh, photo application that you have, but um, I will show you the basic steps of what it takes to actually create this mask. Um, very simple, you should be able to do this in the most basic of imaging processing applications. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go over to creating a new file, a new document, a new canvas, right? So let's go to file, let's create something new. Now the important thing is, yeah, we'll call it, um, We'll call it rounded corners, right? Rounded corners. Cool. Now, the important thing is that when you're creating your file at beginning of the setup, you want to make sure you set it to the actual aspect ratio that you're recording over your screenplay or rather your camera. So uh, since we're recording at 1920 by 1080, I actually went ahead and switched it to pixels. Uh, by default, Photoshop goes over to inches. I don't know what these, but 1920 by 1080 is in inches. So to make it easy, went over to pixels and turned it to 1920 by 1080 pixels. By default, the set the resolution is also set to 70, but I set it to 200 to get, whoa, not 70, 200,000. I set it to 200 so that uh, pixels, right, pixels, then I would be get a decent resolution and we don't get no pixelated edges on our webcam rounded corners, right? RGB color, I had it to 8-bit, doesn't really matter, it's black and white. The way you're gonna see how we set it up, it's in black and white, so it's 8-bit, 16-bit, does not matter. Uh, if you want, if you notice, you can see, you can put it up to higher bit for higher resolution, higher color depth, but like I said, no color here, so 8-bit is fine. Um, we'll leave it at 8-bit, makes it a nice small file size, right? File size can be as small as possible. Uh, advanced, nothing in advance. We can keep it as is square pixels. Click OK. And we'll have ourselves a 1920 by 1080 resolution image. Right, so in Photoshop for creating this uh, specific back uh, mask, we're going to go over here to our layers. Uh, by default, again, it creates the first layer as a background image and it comes pretty much locked. So we're gonna double click on that. We'll call it layer zero, sure, click OK. And now we have a fully uh, functioning layer here. We can actually manipulate and do our bidding the way we want to, right? It won't be locked. Now the tool you're gonna wanna use in Photoshop is the shape tool, right? You can be, click and hold on it. You'll see there's multiple options. There's even options for custom shape, but for our intents and purposes, we're going to use the rounded rectangle tool. When you use this tool, there's actually an option to create it with a specific size, right? So you can come here and go to a uh, proportional size, right? You can select it so that fixed size or proportional size. I'll keep it proportional for now and we'll dial it in at 1920 by 1080. 
click enter on that. What you want to do when you first start off is definitely make sure that this is set to default black and white because you'll need to, your mask to be black. So with the rounded tool selected, we'll go ahead and start to create our shape, right? I have it set so that it expands from the center, right? You just want to create the shape. It's fine, whatever size it comes up. I have mine constrained so to, to be at 1920 by 1080, right? If you notice, I can't really change the shape from the sides or the top. It automatically stays constrained, right? So let's click our selection tool. Uh, basically, we want to align this, right? We want to get it aligned with, I guess, the size of the canvas itself, which is 1920 by 1080. Um, we can click transform. Uh, I, I usually just press control T to transform. You can transform it and I'll grab it from the edge and pull it down so that it goes from corner to corner and it fills up the entire canvas from edge to edge, right? With the exception of the rounded corners. We'll hit enter on that. And as you can see here, it comes in shaped with the black on the interior. And this is exactly what you do not want. What, what, what we need to do is have this black over here on the corners because by the way it's set up is that the mask portion should always be in black. Whatever you want masked off should always be in black. So whatever is in black is what will not show up in OBS when you apply this layer mask, right? So we want to invert this specific selection, right? So right now, as we can see, we have it as a rounded rectangle, but what I'm going to do is it's a smart layer. I'm going to create this as a standard layer. If you're not using Photoshop, you don't have to worry about any of that. So, and what I want to do is invert this, right? I want to invert this fill, right? The layer is filled with black with the white corners. I want to invert this black so that it comes out to the corners and the center becomes white. So a nice and easy way to do this in Photoshop is if you go over to your layer here and you hold control key on your keyboard, and you just left click it, it will make a selection and it will select all that is black, right? Whatever pixels exist uh, on your canvas, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert this selection. First, I press control I to invert it and it's going to invert the black to white. And then what I'll do is I'll invert my selection here, right? So that will be control shift I or right You select inverse control shift I and now if you notice all of my corners are now selected and if you want you can just uh, select the fill tool I have it selected to radiant tool but you can take your paint bucket we'll switch that to black and we'll fill these corners up black right that's one way to do it if you press alt and backspace it'll just fill whatever is selected so all of your in selections are filled with black and if I go ahead and hide my selection you'll see that I have my corners rounded just like that my corners are rounded and just like that you can make a very easy rounded corners square image right now with this all you have to do is go to file uh, save as um, now this you can save as a PNG now a PNG, what it's going to do is going to create this transparency, right? It preserves the transparency of these corners. Um, but the thing with OBS is that it doesn't really matter. So if you want, you can save it as a PNG. It's fine. I already have one saved, so I'm not going to save it there. So we'll click cancel, All right? We'll cancel that. And if we go over to our files, webcam masks, and you'll see I'll have a rounded corners in PNG transparency. I also have one in JPG and if you notice I kind of cropped out more than usual, right? I cropped out more around the edges and we have a circle I created, right? So if we're creating a circle, what we'll do is we'll, we'll delete all of this, right? Start with a fresh canvas. We'll go to our tools and same business. We'll go to our ellipse tool, start from the center to constrain. I hold the shift button, right? And when you hold shift, you'll have your edges constrained. I'll hold con shift. I'll hold shift alt from the center and I'll just create a nice circle. As you can see here, I created a circle and it created a smart object. We'll rasterize that again, just like the first one. And again, we'll um, control I to inverse. If you notice it disappears because it turns white, but it's still painted pixels in white. But if I went ahead and selected it, you'll see I can select around it. 
So I'll take my magic wand tool, select the outside of it. And just like that, I have the outside of my circle selected and press Alt backspace with my black overlay, or I can just take a paint bucket. This one, I'll just use the paint bucket since it's going all the way around and painted black, right? And just like that, I have a rounded mask, right? With the outer edge mask in black. Black means mask, black mask. And then white means apparent. This is what's going to be showing, whatever's in white. Again, again, we'll go to file, uh, save as, we'll call it a uh, circle. We'll save it as, we'll save it as a JPEG, right? That way we can see what it looks like on OBS. We'll save this as a circular JPEG mask. We have a circle there already, JPEG, so I will not save it, but it's the same circle that I created here in the same fashion. All right, we'll cancel, that's already saved, and we'll use that in OBS as a JPEG. And just like that, it's very easy to create these masks. You can create this white circle in just about any application, right? With a black background, you can just mask out the center, paint the back black, as long as this you can't be painted on here. It's all fine and dandy. You can just create a magic circle or any shape you want, just like that, right? Now with our mask created, we can go ahead, switch over to OBS and apply these masks to our fabulous webcam images. All right, Tech Easy Gamers, and here we are over at our OBS. And in OBS, I'm gonna show you how I can take those filters, those masks I just created in Photoshop and apply them to our, you know, what we're seeing here. This particular recording I'm showing you here is on OBS and it's actually being captured with my new Cam Link 4K. You can check out the link in the description. I show how I went ahead and compared this Cam Link 4K to a cheap 1080p capture card and why I'm actually going to stick, why I chose to stick with the Cam Link 4K. So here I am using the Cam Link 4K and I'm actually routing my audio through my DSLR camera, routing through the Cam Link 4K to the PC, which was a thing that the 1080p cheap capture card couldn't do. So just another reason why I chose to stick with the Cam Link 4K along with the 60 FPS I can actually get through this Cam Link 4K. So anyway, that's a whole other video. Check it out in the link. Um, in this video, we're looking at how we're gonna create this mask. So I'm in OBS. Um, let me show you what I mean by an OBS and let me just snap my fingers. Bam, and here we are on my desktop OBS. You probably just see myself infinitely, infinitely, in infinity going through the OBS camera there on the left. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how I'm gonna take those Photoshop masks I created and apply it to this particular webcam, right? So um, I already have my desktop and my camera and everything set up. Let's go ahead and apply it to this live capture I have. And if you want to see a little bit of a tutorial on how to set up your desktop view and your webcam and everything and your, your camera, if you're using a DSLR camera, in OBS, I have that as well. Check out the series. There's an actual playlist where I go through setting up the hardware, what hardware I use to actually set myself up for DSLR camera recording over gameplay. Um, I also have the comparison between, you know, the Cam Lake 4K and the cheap 1080p capture card, how to set all this up in OBS, set up your camera, your desktop, how to configure it. Go check the playlist. For now, we're just gonna apply this webcam mask. All right, so uh, here, if you've, Already checked out my videos in that playlist. I'm not telling you, but go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you've already set up your scenes in OBS, right? So here you can see in the bottom left, we have scenes. Um, right now I have a separate webcam scene. I'll show you how to set up your camera separate from your desktop so you can kind of move your camera around your gameplay to move it around to get things out of the way in case you needed to move yourself off of a particular thing that was showing in your game and your head might have been covering it. Um, so here I have an actual separate webcam. I'll show you right here. This is what a separate webcam looks like, right? For setting up separate webcam recording, streaming on your gameplay. To just not have it statically stuck overlaying on your gameplay. You can actually move yourself out of the way of the shot. You can completely remove yourself completely from the uh, recording. So good to have. Check out the video. It's in the link. All right. So I have my scene set up already. Uh, I have my scene set up with my separate webcam. It is a specific resolution. It is, let's look at settings. It is recording, but let's take a look. We can still jump into settings and look at it as it's recording. So if you notice um, video, if you notice here, I have 
I have my resolution set to 3840 by 1080p. So 3840 is essentially 1920 times two by 1080. So times two, because I want to capture the ultra wide. Make sure you have a decent graphics card as well. Your computer has to be semi decent, right? Right now I'm running off of a Ryzen 5 3600 with a 1660 Super MSI video card. So does the job superbly. So make sure you have something like that or better to kind of run this particular setup, but it's 3840 by 1080p to capture an ultra wide resolution just so that I can capture my secondary webcam 1920 by 1080 separate from my 1920 by 1080 gameplay recording. All right, so that is my output for my desktop capture, right? That's what we have. We have a desktop here. Look at that as I click it, it highlights it. Uh, 1920 by 1080, which is my desktop, is capturing the entire desktop. And my camera, Cam Link, uh, 1920 by 1080 as well. So um, that's my setup. And I have my audio routing through my Cam Link. So you see there's only two options. I don't have a third in my sources. My, my camera is my audio source, right? So you see me here talking, the levels are going up and down. And that is because my camera is actually connected to my mic or my mic is connected to my camera. What? My mic's connected to my camera and it's being streamed through uh, a cam link. Now that we got all that out the way, let's go jump into filters and how I apply it. Now that you have your mask set up, what you want to do here is in your sources section, in your sources, you want to right click on your webcam and in this menu at the very bottom, you should see filters, right? So you want to select filters, but what we want to look at is the effects and filters at the bottom, right? I have it here at the bottom. You wanna hit a plus line to plus, plus line, plus sign to add a filter. So let's click the plus and you'll see again, lots of filters with OBS. What we wanna look at is image mask and blend. So let's click that. We're gonna apply, we'll just call it image mask and blend just to save time. We don't need to name it, name it what you want. You can call it mask rounded if it's specific type of mask you want to have saved in OBS settings you can just find it and click it because it's named properly but I'll just call it what it is default click OK and once you click OK you'll see you will have options here at the bottom you can actually select a color as a mask we're not doing any chroma or anything like that to create a mask so what we're gonna do is we're gonna search for the mask we created and saved in our files and folders in our directory, click browse, and it took me straight to it because I had it set up already. I was prepared. What? All right, so you see here we have the three masks we created. Um, we're going to go ahead and choose PNG version first, right? We're gonna select the PNG, click open, and voila, boom! It already applied the mask without having to do anything at all. Uh, I didn't have to actually choose any of these um, options, the types of alphas, the type of overlay and screening you want to use. Um, it seems that the mask color channel works best when using PNG. It did already see it cut out the, um, the corners, made it rounded. But if I went ahead and ch chose some of these, right, you see that it didn't, doesn't actually apply. Multiply turns it to a black border, right? That's what the original image looked like. Uh, this just took me out completely. Subtraction, um, yeah, that looks weird. It looks like if I look at the bottom corner, I'm over here somewhere, yeah. So that's definitely not it. Alpha is the way to go. So let's click close and boom. Now, if you look here um, on OBS itself, it shows the rounded corners, but I'm gonna slide my webcam, my camera over to the left so you can see that it actually is cut off. Let's resize that, right? Let's grab this corner here. Wait, grab the corner, resize my camera, and voila. Now there I am with rounded corners. Awesome sauce. Now, now as you can see, if this was my desktop gameplay here and not OBS, um, I have the option to kind of just move my camera around as I please in gameplay. So as I'm editing my camera, um, as I'm editing my video, recording, post-production, uh, I can choose any type of effect I want on my camera and it won't affect my desktop recording. This is pretty awesome. Resize it, rescale it. A special effect, I can make myself very tiny in the corner like this, look at me. Right, or choose to resize and make it bigger. Kind of an awesome sausage right there. What, not a sausage, sauce. We're gonna change that mask, right? We're gonna go over to this cam link. We're gonna go to 
our filters. We have a filter here. We have an image mask. Now let's select that. And we're gonna change it to the rounded mask we created in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and browse for it. All right, the rep. Now, this is a JPEG, JPG. This is not a PNG, so you won't have that specific type of um, file format where, you know, PNG, you can actually create um, things cut off. So like, just like you see here with this PNG, so it'll actually apply the mask instantly without having to do anything. But let's see what JPEG does. Uh, let's open, boom, boom. And as you can see, JPEG or PNG makes no difference. As you can see here, I have that nice circular webcam popping off and as you can see, I have it resized, right? I can shrink myself right now. Right, and I can move myself wherever I please in the corner, magical. It's magically delicious. Awesome sauce. And here we are in Hob, cool little game I uh, actually uh, thought it playing. Click continue. And just like that, you can create your own little, uh, little webcam mask, right? You can create a webcam mask, custom, sh custom shape, custom size. You can move it around my screen. I don't have to actually be on screen. I can make myself larger. Let's change the mask up mid gameplay. Why not? Uh, let's go to filters. Uh, let's click that mask. Very easy to do. Uh, what am I doing? Browse. And we're going to choose a very nice, elegant looking mask. And we'll click close on that. And whoa, wait, what happened? Oh, I'm cropped, so you can't see the corners. So I'll have to uncrop myself again. Right, so you can see the rounded corners. Alt, drag over. Boom, and just like that, I changed my webcam mask. And now I'm in a longer widescreen oval kind of a webcam mask. Right, oh, what is this? Where am I? And that's all there is to it. One, two, three in Photoshop or any image processing application you have, you can create this awesome webcam effect, right? Nice, elegant, clean and make yourself stand out in your streaming and your recording. This is one way to actually level up that recording and game streaming gameplay on your own. All right, you've been in tune with Tech Toys and Gaming. I hope this was informative. I hope you learned something and I hope to see your next gameplay in your streaming in a rounded corner or some custom made webcam shape of your own just based off of this and it'd be extra awesome if you left a like and you subscribed and hit that bell notification so that way you know when i produce my next new video and that pop up in your face and in your phone when it's actually released and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching